Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I know I told you this was going to be a car restoration channel, but I'm 150 miles away from my home. Uh, I want to make a video, and I got some water, sweet feed, molasses, and some yeast that I bought. We're going to make a mash. Let's go. Just to remind everyone, um, it may be legal in your state to make moonshine, um, but it's still federally federally illegal. So I'm just teaching you how to make a mash. Uh, what you do with that after that, that's your business, but not mine. Oh, let's try not to spill this. All right, first ingredient. Steaming hot water, 180 degrees. <clears throat> like I said, molasses for deer feed. If it's sweet, it works. Um, you might not want to drink the mash pre-filtered, but uh, yeah. Fifty pounds of sweet feed going in. Home Depot bucket. We're not going to use all fifty pounds. Um, I'm going to try to get ten or so in there. Maybe not even ten. We're going to do about four inches up the bucket. Dump in the hot liquid. Dump in the molasses. Stir it all up. Let's get to work. Oh boy. Good enough. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna add some sugar in the form of molasses. I really don't care how much I add. The yeast are all gonna die at a certain alcohol point anyways, and they won't be able to eat anymore. So we're gonna just add a bunch. Three cups, maybe. It's good. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna be all sticky. It's worse than eating pancakes with syrup. I eat pancakes. If I have syrup, I can't. It's like it walks up the fork. I can't not get it on me. I don't know what it is. It's got a mind of its own. That's enough. I'd say two to three cups we just put in. Oh, I gotta wash, wash my hands. All right.
We're now gonna dump in some piping hot water. Warp. One spoon, stir. Doesn't taste bad. Doesn't taste bad at all. That should be pretty good. Yeah, there we go. We're about even. We're about even now. We're gonna fill till we're about three inches from the top. I don't know what I'm doing this. I got, using this thing. I have another five gallon bucket. I'll just fill it up. Perfect. We're gonna give those a stir. We're gonna give those a stir. We're gonna get them down to around 85 degrees. Uh, I gotta read the yeast actually, let me see. One second. I'm stirring, hold on. Oh, that's way too, way too hot. This one's almost there. So I might need to might need to go up a little in temp on this one. I've got a thermometer, don't worry. Yeah, all that molasses is stirred in nice. So I kind of screwed up. I got some airlocks coming tomorrow. Um, we're just gonna burp these guys. This is my first time making it, so who knows how it's gonna turn out. I am not measuring anything. I have the four ingredients you need, and we're doing it on the fly. Thought is, you got water um, for your solution. The yeast are gonna die when the alcohol gets to, I think it's 12 or 14 percent this is just bread yeast so um we don't have the high grade high grade yeast which i think are 18 or 20 percent um so get as much sugar 
as much flavor as we can um, and other carbs for the yeast to eat. Put in a solution that's to the right temp for the yeast and let them go to town. Uh, I think we're gonna do, I don't know. We'll do, we'll use, I, I got a jar. Just regular active dry yeast. Um, I don't know. We'll use half a jar for, for each bottle. That sound good? Thermometer. This is a body and a surface temp one. Oh. 90.2 what the this is way off according to this I have hypothermia right now 97.9 just about on the money we want this to be 85 It's 98.3, we gotta bring it down a little. 104.9. So we're gonna just stir a little with this until it comes down to temp. And uh, I'll see you then. Let me bring it down here and show you what it looks like. Looks like a mud puddle with some hay and grain in it. Pretty neat. Where are we at? No, not the body surface. 1033 98.7 still 1013 104 101 All right. We got some time to wait. But put the rest of this in here. Obviously, it hurt the temp right now. Do, 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 do. Making a mesh. Can't make moonshine from it. just want to enjoy my own liquor stuff that I made why can't I do that for tax reasons is why they don't want any chance that you're gonna sell it and not get their taxes from it you wanted the truth that's the truth it's not that it's dangerous. It's not that, you know, it's going to hurt local business if you're not buying from the local liquor store because they want their taxes from them. That's the truth. Well, I probably should clean up a little. They spilled about four pounds of grain on the floor.
Get a stick of chip bag clip. Let's keep this closed. <laughs> Double mini zip tie. Put this one into there. Boop. Clean it up. Stop distracting me. <clears throat> All right, we're shooting for somewhere between 80 and uh, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to use half and half. Let's go measure it. need to measure it. it says right there four ounces that's a half cup so a quarter cup should do fine just, you know just split it up half and half I'm just chomping at the bit to get the stuff in there get it covered go to bed burp it tomorrow burp it the next day burp it the day after that burp it again and then on day five or seven you know Take it out and do what we want to do with it. And then we'll drink it. Another stir. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's settling. Get going there. I mean, these yeast live their whole lives to get a bath like this. 
I mean, I guess technically they're dormant, so they're, are they living or not? I don't know. But they're gonna live for this math, because it's gonna be perfect. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. This is for deer. Well, any. Great for deer, bears, and hawks. Anything you're trying to lure in and, you know, eventually put on the dinner table. Irresistible treat. This concentration of pure molasses draws in wildlife with sweet aromas and long-lasting flavor. Deer, bears, and hogs crave sugar and molasses has plenty of it. It's perfect for a year-round nutritional supplement, especially through those cold winters when sugar content is scarce. The liquid formula pours easily and begins working immediately to form an irresistible treat that will keep them coming back again and again. Whew. Uh, if you use this for attractants, be careful. Check your state wildlife regulations. I live in New York. You're not allowed to bait, uh, bait deer. We don't have any hogs. We got some bears. I don't know if you're allowed to bait bears. I should check up on that. But you can't bait deer. You can't hunt over bait in New York, which, you know, fair chase. I'm for it. It's fine with me. Clean the table. Friggin' one word song stuck in my head. All right, so I'm a little bit of an idiot. Um, we have to activate this yeast first. Uh, um, we want our water to be between 100 and 110 F. Um, and we've already gone below that. So we're gonna activate this in, in, a, in an environment with a saucepan type deal. And then uh, we'll go from there. One oh three point nine. Perfect. We're going to add a little molasses to this. Whoa. Too much. Stir it in. We are now going to add all of our yeast. Oof, stop it. Okay. 
Come on, little guys, start working. Build. Clean up on aisle table. All right, so we're going to pour about half into here. Oh, you guys want to see this? Pour about half into each. That should be plenty to do the job. Uh, they should be sitting in a good, happy environment now. Uh, so we're going to stir this up. All stirred up, um, looks kind of something like this. Now, we're gonna cap these, these have O-rings in there, so they'll seal decent, hopefully. Um, I don't know, never tried these Home Depot buckets out. Seem like they're a decent Decent purchase, as of right now, for mixing bowls at least. Let's see how they do as containers for holding in the gases that are gonna be given off, the CO2 that's gonna be given off. Um, we'll burp these uh, at least every day. Um, see how they look in the morning if they need to be burped. Um, twice a day, I'm not sure. I can do some research on that, but we're gonna cover these and uh, and then we're gonna put them in a nice warm place for the next five to seven days. See how it comes out. Oh.
like I said, we're gonna store these in a nice warm place, burp them every day. I may get a couple new, I think tomorrow I'm going to get a couple new um, caps. Cause I do have those airlocks coming uh, tomorrow. So install airlocks, we won't have to burp them. But uh, I'll give you an update on the next video. Um, and then we'll move on, taste it at the end of five to seven days when we filter it and uh, see if we can't get a little buzz going. I appreciate you guys watching this video, um, trying to get this channel going, want to give you guys some good content. So if you like it, hit that like button, um, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have many more videos coming out, um, hopefully in the next, you know, few months uh we'll put up i don't know lots of videos <laughs> i'm uh kind of just getting into this thing so um it's kind of a learning curve but uh i did have i did enjoy editing the last you know short video i did um the first one but uh lots more to come on the 71 gmc and you know hopefully get a couple other cars maybe um to work on and then i just picked up a huge stock of horseradish might be pickling some horseradish here soon i don't know what do you guys want um let me know thanks for watching have a good night